Okay, I think we're ready to write our second program. And in this program, we're going to just simply prompt the user to enter in their name and then prompt them to enter in their age and then display their name and their age. So we'll make use of some of the concepts that we've recently covered dealing with variables. And we'll also look at the concept of getting uh, input from the user. So we haven't done that before. We've just done output to the screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create our project. So we'll go here to File, New, C++ Project. And we're going to call this C++ Project Program 2. Uh, for project type, leave it as empty project, tool chain, make sure MinGW GCC is selected if you have more than one tool chain, and click on finish. And now that we have our, our project here under Project Explorer, go ahead and right click, select new, and then we'll select source file. And we'll name the source file the same thing as the program, except we need to have the CPP extension. Okay, so that's just convention for our C++ source files and click on finish. So here we go, we're in our editor now, we can start typing. Uh, the first line is going to be the same first line we saw in our other program. We're going to have a pound include, open angle bracket, IO stream. So this IO stream is bringing in the facilities to be able to do input, getting input from the keyboard and also doing output uh, to the screen. The other thing that we're going to have here is support for the string data type. So we actually need to bring in another library for that. So we need to do pound, include, open angle bracket, and it's just string here. Okay, come down a couple of lines, and then we'll have the using, namespace, space, standard. Again, I'm not going to go into the details of this just yet, other than to say that it's going to save us a few keystrokes. So now we can type in our, our main function. So int main open paren, close paren, uh, come down a line, open brace, enter, and it should automatically insert our close brace. So everything is going well so far. So this is the basic structure of our program. Uh, it doesn't look too different than what we had before at this time, other than we had this pound include for uh, the string library from the C++ standard library. Okay, so now we can, um, I, I guess one thing that we could do at this particular time is just do a return uh, zero here inside of our main function. So our main function is supposed to return an int value, and if things are successful, we should return a value of zero. So in this program, we're getting both a name and an age from the user, so we need to clear variables that are able to support those types. So to support the name, we'll have a type string, and the name of the variable will be name, and then we'll initialize it to the empty string. So the empty string is just double quote, um, no space, double quote. And for some reason or another, Eclipse is compiling about, uh, compl compiling, complaining about string here. So let's go ahead and save and see if we can get it from complaining, I don't know, do a space in there. Okay, there it goes. So for whatever reason, it was a little bit delayed in recognizing that we did in fact have the string library. But things are okay now. It's not complaining. It fully recognizes that. So we're good to go. The other thing that we need to declare is a variable for age. So we'll do int age, and we'll also initialize it, and we'll initialize it to zero. Uh, zero. So it's a good idea to always initialize your variables as soon as you declare them even if you overwrite them, you know, shortly after this. So what do we need to do now? At this point, we need to prompt the user to input their name. So if you remember, the way we got output to the screen, we used C out. So C out, and then we use the insertion operator, and then we could type some text. So maybe uh, enter your name, colon, space. And we'll do slash in here to put a new line character there. All right. And then we'll do, uh, actually, we'll do something new here. So let's do C in. So instead of C out for doing character output, we can do C in for character input. So C in, space. And this time, instead of doing the insertion operation, we're going to do what's called extraction. Uh, we could also call this the input operator where we're getting input from the keyboard. So it goes in the other direction, so close angle bracket, close angle bracket, space, 
Uh, and now we need to say, what are we actually putting the keyboard input, whatever they type in, maybe their name is Bob, and where are we going to store that particular value? Well, we want to store it into name. So we put name here. Come down a couple of lines. We'll do another series of two lines just like this, except this time we're going to use enter your age colon. And maybe I won't put the new line character in there so you can see the difference between having the new line character and not having the new line character. We really didn't get uh, a nice showcase of the difference in our last program, but we'll see it here. And put semicolon there. And then we'll do CN and use our extraction operator, extracting something from the keyboard and placing it into, in this case, the variable age. So now whatever they've typed in uh, after enter your name will be stored in name, and then whatever they've typed in after enter your age will be stored in age. All right, And then finally, we'll output to them basically the same information that they inputted to us. So we'll say C out, and then use the insertion operator, and just say your name is colon, and then insertion operator again, name, and then maybe after that, we put um, a period. And let's make use of the uh, new line character again. See how this works. So a new line character. And then we'll say uh, your age is colon space. And then come on the other side of that. And then we'll say age. And then we'll end that line with a period as well. So let's go ahead and uh, put a period in there. Whoops, not a comma, but a period and then put a semicolon at the end. So each time they were interested in uh, specifying a string literal, we need to make sure that that string literal is inside of double quotes, uh, whereas if we have some variable, we just type the variable name as it is. Okay. I'm kind of showing, I guess, logical grouping of what we're doing here. This is uh, logically get, you know, declaring our variables Getting, uh, prompting the user for their name, then getting their name, prompting the user for the age, then getting the age, and then displaying uh, both the user's names and their age. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so now we're ready to compile our program. So go ahead and click on the, the Build button here. And again, the Build button involves both compiling and linking. So we're compiling this code here and generating an object file that will be linked with other object files uh, from IOStream and, and String uh, Library, and then we'll generate an executable file that runs on this particular architecture. So all that's going on whenever we click this Build button here. And now we'll actually run our program by clicking on the Run button. And down here on the console, we will actually have to input some things from the keyboard. So it says, Enter your name. And if we left click somewhere within this console, you'll notice that it puts, our, puts the insertion point here below into your name. And that's because we put this new line character. If we didn't put the new line character in there, then we'd be inputting the name on the same line as into your name. So we'll say that the name is Bob. And then now it's just waiting. You know, maybe our name's Bobby. So we could type in BY or maybe we put a first name and a last name in there. It's not going to do anything more until we hit the enter button. So it's basically you know, waiting for us to say that we're done typing our name. So hit enter, and now we're going to enter our age, and maybe the age of Bobby is uh, 22. So we'll put 22 in there, and hit enter, and now it says your name is Bob, and your age is 22. So all that came from this single line here, and even though we typed it out on a single line, it showed up on two different lines. Why did it show up on two different lines? Well, we inserted this new line character. So after it finished all this stuff here, all the way up to that period, it then provided that new line character starting here and put all this stuff on that next line. Okay. And notice how it substituted in the actual name Bob, where we had name here, put Bob, and where we had age, it substituted in 22. So that's what's going to happen whenever you output um, some statement and you're using variables. It's actually going to replace that particular variable name with the value that's stored at that variable location. 
So that's basically it. This is our second program. We looked at declaring a couple of uh, variables of different types, one of type string, the other of type int. We also looked at using CN to get input from the keyboard, and then we reviewed using C out. So in our next program, we'll probably be doing uh, some maybe basic arithmetic operations.